All right, guys, we're back here in another Bloodbath Tactics. Thank you, everyone, this week, uh, following in our live battle reports and uh, tuning in, subscribing, and uh, following our giveaway there, too, on Instagram. Uh, appreciate all of you. Uh, today, we have an awesome, awesome episode. Yes, sir. Uh, one of my favorite factions in the in, in 40K. I'm quite familiar with them, too, just because of the opponents I've played. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's all about Chaos Demons. Oh, boy. Demons. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. We are doing a faction focus on Chaos Demons, a kind of niche, but kind of powerful faction. I think it's super powerful. And we have yeah. a resident professional with us. Everybody meet Jake. Ah, yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Up, Jake? Uh, really great to be on the podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, you listen to all our uh, all the episodes. Right? I have, you're, yes. Uh, I'm well-researched, as it were. Yeah, you're one of our, <laughs> one of our major fans here. So. Jake is a, is a super <laughs> fan, now you're obviously. Now you're uh, now you have an episode with yourself on, oh, uh, on the show. Isn't so. that awesome? Yeah, yeah <laughs> thank cool. you very much for having me again, yeah. So. No, we want to pick your insight. Uh, I've, uh, you know, we've been in a few tournaments. I, I don't think we've ever faced, but, uh, you know, you're always placing pretty high uh, in the standings, playing the top tables and mm -hmm. playing the top players in Calgary. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to get you on here to kind of get you insight on demons. Of course. Uh, they are, uh, I think they're a pretty difficult fashion. I think they kind of play a lot of roles and play different, and play in a different way, too. Like, you can kind of be Grey Knighty, but you're mm -hmm. also kind of Knighty, <laughs> like, <laughs> right, with your big demons. Yeah, you're and definitely... Mm -hmm. And obviously, we can you'll, you'll you'll know more than I do. But demons can be a stat check. Obviously, mm -hmm. they can be a skew. They can be super mobile. They're kind of a lot of tools, but they they're not lighting up podiums necessarily in like top play. But let's before we get to the details, let's just talk about you, Jake. Of course, let's yeah. talk about you a little bit. Sure. Where did you get your? Where did you fall in love with Warhammer? Do you have a, a background in board gaming? Like, where did it all start for you? What's well, your origin story? Oh, I got a lot to tell you about that. Right, so, um, I started right at the beginning of ninth edition. Um, I started with a good amount of my friends. That way, way back, like four, four years, years ago. ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, Some people have been playing for like 30 years. Uh -huh. It's not that far I back. am young. <laughs> um, and I started off with a group that was, weirdly enough, I had known basically all of them since kindergarten. Um, I've grown up in the city here my entire life, and these cool. people have been in and out of my life uh, through a number of years at this point. Um, these individuals are people that I, we would just do like a bunch of niche stuff together. We basically had a lot of video games, uh, like times just playing video games, lots of tabletop stuff, lots of Dungeons and Dragons, stuff like that. Stuff. Yeah, of course. Yep. Um, and my buddy bought the Indominus box and then I was just like, okay, what's this thing? I was familiar with Warhammer at the time. I was just definitely not familiar with the tabletop at all. And okay. it was something that I'm like, I'll never get into that, mm -hmm. surely. And then I did. And then it was quite honestly one of the fondest decisions that I've ever mm -hmm. chosen to make. In Indominus box was Space Marines and Necrons, right? Correct. I didn't yes. play Nice Edition at all, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yes, that, that is Necron? exactly what it was. Okay. It was like Sweet. the most imbalanced thing ever. It was like 400 points versus like 250. Oh, was it? it was brutal. Mm -hmm. And we played in like bad. In our, whose favor? In, in, in Necrons. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we then, prove. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually have that. Half a box, like I have one just sitting in my mm -hmm. in my garage, just half Necron, like ha the half the Necron half of Indominus. Nice. I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. it's so a, it's a great value. There's like Royal Wardens, what twenty warriors, six scarabs. There was uh, some uh, uh, in there. destroyers in there, destroyer, yeah, yeah sc uh, Scorpec oh, destroyers, a uh, Scorpec Lord, oh yeah, Overlord as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's really good. It's, it's good pretty box. sweet, solid. Box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. your buddy buys the Indominus box. Yeah, you play half of it. He plays half of it. Yeah. So what, what were you playing? So it was actually a two v two of we had two oh. people manning the Necrons and two people manning the Space Marines, and nice. we were like a group of twelve. We still are a group of twelve, okay. and it's like. All of these people who basically just were on the verge of graduating high school, and we were all just looking at university on the horizon. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. And we started off in our backyards, moved to our basements over the winter, and we started slowly building up our own factions <coughs> just with the scraps that we could take together off of being, you know, broke first-year university students as we would. And uh, I started off with Eldar. Um, oh, where it is that I learned my play style very quickly. Yeah. I was a big fan of the fast-moving, hard-hitting, finesse kind of style armies, mm -hmm. of which was quite honestly a menace for my group. Um, we quickly kind of found ourselves within our own niches within the hobby as well. Um, a lot of us took to a lot more either casual stance or like a more narrative stance to how it is that we wanted to do things. Uh, myself, I took to a much more competitive one. Um, and then everybody else was also kind of getting a lot more into the painting side of things, sure. how everything yeah, yeah. would... Yeah, just as, as you would. We would naturally grow into our own uh, niches within the hobby. Um, so I became, quite honestly, a pretty big menace within the group. You were, um, the, you were the, the competitive guy. I was. And <laughs> yeah. it was probably damaging to my reputation within <laughs> such a context, to be sure. honest. When you got a bunch of hobbyists. 
and, yeah, and we're all narrative guys, and you're going and smash them up. <laughs> so I can see it going a little bit. Yeah, like sure. literally. Yeah. And then in addition to that, um, I had just basically, uh, I just basically got back into this group at the time because I we had gone to different high schools and sure. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So. Um, I don't know, like, it was just kind of getting back in with everybody at the same time, and it wasn't a really a great look to be, like, win at all costs, despite at the cost of our friendship type of stuff. <laughs> of course, so, yeah, yeah. Um, in an effort to basically correct such a thing, um, I had at the time found great interest in a army that we were talking about today, that being Chaos Demons. Okay. Um, it's a very niche army, for sure, as yeah, you described. I, I kind of did say that, and I, like, I second-guessed even after I said it whether that's true or not, but probably is true like obviously in the lore mm -hmm. demons is chaos is all a, a huge part of the lore obviously mm -hmm. but it, on the especially in like a competitive tabletop setting like i said uh, chaos demons are not winning big tournaments and big championships they have a okay win rate does anybody know what they're at right now is uh, they're around 50 40s 51 ish yeah, yeah. Something like that. well the lgt there was like what six in the top Say thirty or forty, like I think thirty six or six of them. Correct. Mm. Yes. Yeah, and there was one that was all Nurgle based. There was. Yeah, that's which is really oh, cool. that's really cool. cool. Like, that's, that's yeah, great and clean one. Radigus, a bunch of plague bearers. Sick. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so it is, it is definitely niche. Why do you why do you think it's niche? Like, what makes it kind of uh, odd duck? So in that sense, it's definitely not somebody something that people would look at. I think within the context of the setting. And be like super like I want to play that because there's so many other like more 40k things I guess that you would want to look for in relation to that. I, that's what I've been told sure. is in the sense that it's like why would I want to play an army of fantasy models when it was that like I could mm. instead be playing space marines. Ooh, and that's mm -hmm. actually an interesting point because mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong. So I I I'm not as uh, veteran of a uh, of 40k as some other guys like cast and stuff like that mm -hmm. but is it, isn't it the case where for a time you could play your chaos demons in 40k and fantasy yep mm -hmm. right? you still kind of can still kind of can yeah yeah yeah. in aos like you can still use like a keeper secrets or um right whatever the fate weaver is the lord of the change full demon range in yeah. aos isn't Bellacor yeah, yeah. like a sigmar model He's in, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also in 40k. So there's some cro weird crossover there. And have if you, you look ever, at, have you ever dipped a toe in the fantasy stuff? Or I not? have. Yeah, I play Hidden Knights of Slanesh for Ooh, Age of Sigmar. I don't know what that means. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> it's a full Slanesh army in Age of Sigmar, and it's something that I've only played a very small amount of games with. Okay. But regardless, something to do and something different to try. I mean, if you can do it, why not? Right? Exactly. Right. I think um, I'd get an AOS if I like won an army. I'm like, all right, challenge oh, accepted. So yeah, yeah, I'd have to win army. that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I want to do. Put the effort into nah. Also, nah. you could probably just do, like, a fully orc uh, Age of Sigmar army mm -hmm. and then just play it in mm -hmm. 40k. I don't think anybody would care. Probably not. Probably not. I mean, no. Yeah, because what would your trucks be? You'd have, like, they have, like, giant just twigs. Just go, go to the dollar store <laughs> yeah, uh, or, go, or go, to, go to Toys R Us and get some Fisher-Price Tonkas <laughs> and then just paint those up. And then that's your, uh, that's your truck. Mm -hmm. So demons niche because yeah i guess that they do they're very important in the lore like chaos oh yeah 100 like, chaos as like a entity is super important in the lore obviously but mm -hmm. they're not like the chaos demons themselves are not usually the like focus right we're talking like primarchs and the legions like the the chapters of the space rings mm -hmm. you've obviously got your chaos counterparts that's like the heroes the chaos demons themselves are usually the like the gribbly bad guys right yeah mm -hmm. so i guess like I, yeah you don't naturally gravitate to them but you gravitated towards them because for a lot of reasons okay. um my first and probably my currently like my most important thing that i value about this army mm. is quite honestly the interpretation of it i see it as probably arguably one of the more abstract armies in the entire game in which you could basically make anything so long as it aligns with whatever chaos god's values that the demon is supposed to represent um mm. you can kind of make it work Kit bashing is like a huge thing that I like doing. Oh, I sure. like running proxies. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, that's right. You a three D printer in this army, you can go anywhere as crazy as you want. Yeah, 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 and that's what I liked about it because I really like my armies to stand out, and I really like to go with <laughs> like the more niche kind of style of how it is that things are represented within that mm -hmm. way. Right. So in that sense, I was more so looking for a way to really express my more artistic side of the hobby while simultaneously being able to play a faction that I had basically seen minuscule representation yeah, of sure. and mainly get good at them. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. at the time, I was... Um, it, it, this They had their 8th edition codex mm -hmm. when I started playing them in 9th edition. And they played much like how World Eaters play nowadays mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the sense that it was basically you just throw everything on your deployment line and run at people with a lot of your turn and 
generally like how and the then game you got would a go. Core. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, and, and then it was like change, yeah. all movements, and you would throw greater demons at people that would immediately get killed in return, but they mm. would deal quite a lot of damage right. in in such a thing. But the ninth edition codex was really good too. We're gonna get there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So um, I started playing a lot of demons within my group. Once I started picking them up, right. um, I picked up a full Zinch demons army. I actually am a huge fan of running Mono God specifically. Mm. Then I got a full Sonesh demons army. Sure. Um, and then from there, uh, my codex very much started to drop off um, at around the middle of 9th edition. And I took a few months break just to, A, paint up all my stuff. And B, because I was planning on when my codex dropped, I was going to start going to events outside right. of this group. And from there, when my codex did come out, I was ecstatic. They, like, reworked the army in 9th edition almost entirely and gave it basically this really cool niche identity that you see now mm -hmm. um, in terms of weirdly mobile with strangely tough, like in yeah, ways that yeah. you don't see in typical armies, I guess, as you would say, in the sense that it's like, it's very easy to get, w when you get damaged through, they like melt, no problem, but it, the problem is actually getting to that point, because it's just whole army has weird amounts of debuffs, whole army has an invulnerable save, and Yeah, and I think, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, like, if there is a Chaos Demons identity as like a whole faction, because mm -hmm. the identities are separated into like the four different Chaos Gods, obviously. Right. Like, there, there really isn't, or maybe you disagree, but I, I, the way I see it, there isn't really a unifying Chaos identity, except that they all have invulnerable saves. That's like the thing, right? Like, In Ninth, they had uh, demonic saves. I miss those so, so much. Saves. So they were like, um, basically with demonic saves, it was, there's a lot of things I can ignore in Vol, so like uh, the Hammerheads. In Tau, their railguns could just ignore any invol save, but gotcha. with demonic saves, it was like an extra type of save that can never be dealt with. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. It was a super invol save. And then there was, it was, um, I guess it was logged as uh, the first one was range and the second one was melee, right? Correct, yes. So you had like a, say, a 5 plus slash 4 plus. So oh, Blood okay. Letters had a 5 plus demonic save and a 4 plus in combat. Or I think it was the other way around, but like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, but it was really cool. Because you couldn't you couldn't mess with it. Because th when when before their codex came out, everything could just like mess with an invol. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, you don't have invol. You don't have this. And yeah, then like demons was just brutal. sucked. They were like bottom of the barrel. And yeah, they're like, okay, take away so you're just we're gonna make them demonic saves. Oh shit. Now they're good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, it was a really cool element that I really do miss about that codex. Mm -hmm. um, I will, being perfectly honest, I was quite disappointed with what they decided to do with my army at the start of this edition. Okay. Um, we'll get there when we get to that point. But when this ninth edition codex did come out. Mm -hmm. The demonic save was a huge part of what I really enjoyed about it. And sorry, just so I understand the demonic save, it was basically an uh, invuln save that cannot be like ignored. Correct. Got yes. Just Same like kind a, of thing. It's like a super invuln. Yeah, 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 yeah literally. Yeah, yeah. Cool. It was because that was, again, exactly as just Cass had mm -hmm. mentioned. Like, ignoring invuls, there goes my entire defense, right, right? right? So, and there was tons of ways to interact with it. Yeah, in, it was in insane. ninth edition. It was, it was kind of silly. Like, oh, no, there's no invul. Really silly. No. Or like you're in this guy's aura, no involve. Exactly. Like there was shit like that of, all the time. We kind of yeah. had that in 10th edition. I obviously didn't play 9th, so I don't. For I don't involves? Know. Well, the, like um, dev dev wounds ignore right. involves. Right, 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 right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds like they are less uh, prevalent or less. Like they could wound you on a 2 and you have no involve. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like it's, it's sounds, yeah, it was oh. bad. It was really bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I guess it's the same as an uh, anti infantry uh, dev wound, but like you, or well, anti something. The, the wound, anti but. and dev wound combo is thankfully pretty rare. Like yeah. you, you might have an instance of it in your whole index or yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. And even then, it's not usually that but good. So yeah, cool. So yeah, uh, sure. you said you were saying uh, ninth edition. And then tenth edition, you didn't like the index, or did you? Were, you had more before, before. Yeah, I didn't really like the index that much when it okay. came out. Um, I was a big fan of how they chose to keep the movement shenanigans that they introduced in ninth edition. Sure. Yeah. That being basically just like the idea of warp locus, which was where I get my six inch deep strike from now, um, and how right. everything in the army has deep strike for all intents and purposes. Especially, and I also like the interaction with uh, leadership. Weirdly enough, that they introduced in ninth edition, which I think is just flavorful, thematic. It's cool. What's the interaction with, with leadership? Uh, minus one when you're within uh, shadow. like a shadow, which gotcha. is like at the yeah. time uh, last edition, it was basically just within six inches of any unit in your army. Mm. It, was, it was really nice. Um, but like it, the demonic save too was crazy. Like. Zinch demons 
would have a three up invol against range weapon attacks, and then they'd have a six up in melee, Damn. and it was like army wide for yeah, that. It was fun. actually really cool. <laughs> yeah. Lord of Change would so just so never die, so you're and, and Lord of Change could re-roll like one of them or something. Okay, yeah. Lord of Change had this busted combo last edition where yeah. you could take like a relic that let him just ignore a save a phase whenever you wanted. So it would be and like a three up invol on top of that. <laughs> yeah, so then it's like a rail a rail gun gets through, and cool. then you're just like eh, you don't even don't even roll yeah, the damage. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, and it's like our uh, our buddy Jake. Uh, we were playing a uh, crusade. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, I was Crusade, and he just added, like, Lord of Change is, like, the the one. And then he had, like, a couple other mods, but then a Lord of Change. Right. And we're like, what the fuck? We're all, like, running, like, these <laughs> 500 points or, like, a 1,000-point things. We can't deal with this thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so when I got my codex, I started going to events. Yeah. Um, I Oh, they also introduced Warp Storm in 9th edition. Huge. I'm so, I miss that mechanic so much. You basically just roll a bunch of dice. Every four up, you get a point. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every point that you got, you could spend uh, throughout the battle round on, like, different buffs that you could just give your whole army and stuff. Cool. And it was amazing. Cool. Um, it played really well into, like, playing one whole faction of demons like mono god kind of thing which yeah. again big fan of this does sound a lot like world leader exactly so are you like is that not the world leaders didn't exist then. really they oh, didn't really okay. exist yeah. there was like they were like a small sub faction of chaos space marines sure. in their codex right. uh they're, they then they eventually got their codex but they weren't like they are now yeah they didn't right. they didn't really exist yeah between like very fast uh, like in your face melee and what sounds like kind similar to a uh, blessings of corn roll where you're mm -hmm. rolling a bunch of dice and for the yeah, most part yeah, 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 yeah. Dice and doing buffs and stuff for the most part but that yeah. was in the before four time we're this in 10th edition now we're yes we are now. so, so you you're, but you're saying that yeah. uh you picked up the demons in ninth edition started playing them competitively correct this is still here locally in calgary or yes just like and area Edmonton, uh yeah whatever. like i'd been going around so i started going to one day events i actually won my first ever one day events oh, which sick. was like this really like tiny thousand point skirmish in Strathmore. It was cool. actually it was a great time. It was a Sweet. great time. But um You took you took down like that's that taps like, you that's, is it tap what, 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 what no, game store is that? Oh taps uh, is in Edmonton. Tom's yeah. hobbies. Tom's yeah, yeah 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 I've been one of his RTTs too. I actually got Second and Adam Green got first. Oh, what a, what a menace! Yeah, that's he's tough. just such a jerk. <laughs> what a menace. What a menace. I still got a ninety dollar gift card. So hey, like, that's cool. Good deal. And then I bought Repentia. <laughs> Good man, <laughs> Meta slave, and that's how it started. <laughs> that's all. That's how sister, the secret sister. That's no one knew. I, me, me, and the wife actually drove up there one day, so I can get like, oh, I gotta use this. I mean, I gotta, oh, okay. That's like a forty-five minute drive. That's a, that's yeah. easy. Yeah. 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 It was that hey. like a? Is that like a rec hall? Sick. And then he baited his burgers and stuff. Like it was awesome. <laughs> like it, it was. It that was that's crazy. crazy. Wholesome is what it sounds. It like. was it awesome. And, awesome. And, and Curly was. He brought his demons and he went. And uh, yeah. but he just got like knee surgery, so he's like holding a cane. <laughs> And like, he's well, standing there on a mat, little, little and he's mess. trying to like roll like his dice, and, and then he'll like you'll see him sit, and he just has his cane up here like this. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> he's just kind of resting. Yeah, it was a really, it was a good time. Anyway, yeah, anyways, course. they're great. He's the owner's super awesome. He is awesome. Cool. Yeah. Very very humble guy. Nice I didn't guy. Know they had a store out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, then you I... crushed your first event. I did, yeah, then, I did quite well, and, and, then, then, and then, yeah. So then, after that, I started going to a bunch more one-day events. I was terrified of two-day events. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get my oh, you didn't want to do a everything rolled. Well, okay, at that point, I hadn't really lost any games, so I was just like, oh, I don't really want to go to an <laughs> event and lose. Um, yeah. But um, started going to one-day events here in the city. Um, there was ones hosted at our LGS, and then mm -hmm. I started going into some of the bigger players. That being like Ozzy and Adam and stuff yeah, like that. Big dogs. Yeah, and of course, so I'm just like. And, and they would destroy me. So I'm like, okay, cool. So now we know how to get better. Yeah. Um, and then my first ever... Oh, and I was starting to go to Sylvan Lake a lot. Um, just so they would host their one-day events every month. Yeah. Um, I heard about Sylvan. that. Yeah. Evolution yeah. Gaming? Uh, Forged. Sylvan? Forged. Forged. Okay. Yeah. Evolution's then, Calgary. Yeah. Is Evolution Calgary? That's Who's up in Sylvan right now? Not Trident. Trident's Edmonton. There's somebody else in Sylvan Lake, but... Okay, so yeah. going to oh, we're just, yeah, they're cool. There's another, yeah. There's another I, group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, no, it's okay. And then I, I've current, I've won three events there to this Sick. day. Yeah, so like, this is all just RTTs, one day yes. things. Yes, yeah. Okay. So which is again terrified of two day events. Yeah. So my first ever two day event. Yeah, yeah. Pri Prime Aussie is a scary, yeah. is a scary thing, man. Uh -huh. I, played, I faced them a couple once in a tournament, and you. Yeah, it's bad. It's so, yeah. really bad. So, and then I had this like really like toxic ultramarine slant list that was Gilliman with like three Volkite contemptors. Yeah. And then it was this was just when Desolation Marines came out too, so they had like thirty of them. So I just got like indirected off the board. But regardless, uh, did yeah. pretty okay for no, my first event. For your first GT is yeah, it's fine. Great. It's actually um, it's very good. Yeah. yeah. And then since then I've gotten uh I've gone to uh, probably close to a dozen uh, half a dozen two day events. Um sure. and um 
go, that was right at the tail end of 9th edition was this tournament. So going into 10th edition now, as I mentioned, my army, we all got fully reworked. Yeah. Um, how they chose to deal with my army rule was a little bit poorly thought through. Um, so what it is now, Shadow of Chaos, as you're familiar with, um, mm -hmm. that being just like zone control over the board and then giving debuffs and then your entire army basically needing to... Um, interact off of this rule and getting a very large bulk of your rules and buffs off of this rule in, in general. But achieving it at all times was very tough. Mm -hmm. And the only way to really get it consistently was through Bellacor. Mm -hmm. um, right. So my army at the time, at the start of this edition, was very much held up by about three data sheets. Um, sure. Bellacor, Bellacor and Lord of Change, and Shalaxi. Um, yeah, all yeah. of which well, at were... The beginning, sure. Right. Shalaxi yeah. was like 400 points. It was way too cheap. And then a Lord of Change was like 230, Ooh, which was insane. Wild. But regardless, um, throughout the... I, I went to a lot of events throughout uh, 10th edition, and I, I did pretty well at most of them. Mm. Um, I feel like I got kind of swamped just at a few of them in terms of just how poorly my army was actually kind of running itself. Right. Um, and I play a weird, like, mono slanesh kind of, with like a zinch slant is kind of how I like to run my demons just in general. Mm -hmm. um, mainly because it's not something that a lot of people see, which I kind of... I wouldn't say thrive off of, but it definitely helps when people aren't like familiar with Hell your yeah. army. So, right? so let's um, and that's a good point right now. Uh, why don't we? We just recently had a GT uh, a week and a half ago, right? Uh, the Orchard, mm -hmm. really, really fun event. Um, you went four and one. I did go four and one. Yeah, you did. Um, and, and notably, he went through a couple of our of our contemporaries, our Bloodbath crew. Oh yeah. He well, went, now you're on the team now, so now you just oh, beat yeah, his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but. Uh, you went 4-1. and one. Why don't we go over the list there, and, and why did you make those choices? Of course, yeah. So um, my list in general um, is something that is definitely fueled by the recent data slate changes to my army. Mm. Essentially what that did for me was it gave my greater demons, for all intents and purposes, always giving off Shadow of Chaos, yeah. which was so needed. It's so good. It was so needed because it was so hard to get it before, and it's right. far too hard to work my army without having it. Um, so where I took my list from here was um, Bellicor came back. I stopped mm -hmm. running him for a while, um, but he's far too good with his high strength mm -hmm. melee. In addition to the fact of providing the utility with his like eighteen inch don't shoot me aura, which yep. is just, it's just a nice party trick of to have. Yep. Um, Shalaxi mm -hmm. is a controversial pick nowadays. I took her because she is terrifying, um, mainly due to the fact that. She will influence entire games just off of her mere presence alone. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, she's probably the best melee unit in the game How right now. How much does Shlaxi cost? 450 now? points. Um, well, she's not cheap. No, but, but she is man, can she hit? very durable. Yeah. She picks up a knight a turn easily. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, she and sure then did. Um, she sure did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she sure did. Um, and then from there, uh, great unclean one with endless gifts. Just to take you, yeah, take yeah. every time. You Always. just have to take it every time. And then keeper of secrets is another one that I took. A uh, very weird unit. It's hard to kill. It's mm. it's a weirdly tough unit. Um, mm -hmm. Five up feel no pain with a T minus one to hit. T ten. T ten. Okay. Yeah. T ten. Eighteen wounds. And then if you yeah. put the enhancement on it to let it heal. Um, every kill that she gets on a 3-up on a d6, she gets a wound back. Right. So yeah, she can that's heal. really good. And then the other thing is, too, is that obviously all these things are healing off of my army rule, which right. now they always gain access to, which is important because they're passing leadership checks on, like, a 5-up. Of course. And then d3 right. wounds back every single yep. one of my command phases oh, for yeah. the most part. That's, that's, that most recent change to give all the greater demons mm -hmm. the shadow always mm -hmm. is... It's very nice. Insane. Very, like, very nice. Fundamentally changes how you play the game, obviously, yeah, right? of course. Is and it within six inches, or is it just... No, 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 well, they are always in their own aura, Yeah. right? But, right, yeah, but yeah. They give off a six-inch aura of, of shadow. Their, of shadow for their... For type. the god. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but all, like, the the um, enhancements and, like, buffs that they get are usually, tr oftentimes, triggering off of being in shadow. Yep. And if you're always in shadow, then you don't really have to fight for objectives in the same well, fashion. Precisely. It is similar to the, the Great Unclean One's enhancement. So there is yeah. an enhancement for it. I think it's 20 points? 30 points. 30 points. Yeah, the, yeah. 30 the, points. The but it, uh, whenever they're in the Shadow of Chaos, they get a right. four, feel no pain. Right. Yeah. Now they're always now in Now they're literally always in yeah. Shadow. So and and same with the uh, Lord of Change. And it's nasty. It gives an extra six inch to their uh, range. Um, an extra strength. Brings and then, it up to strength 12. Yeah. yeah. It kills anything. That's the ever stay? Yes. The yes, yes, ever it, yes it, but it also gives them, it also gives them range on the other gun, too. Yeah, it just gives them range it's on the other nice. gun. Yeah, yeah, it's just nice to have. So it's like it's 24 and 18 now, not 18, 12, or 18, 12, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then from there, uh, you obviously need a bunch of scoring units. Uh, I, I'm a really big fan of demonettes, which is not mm. a common pick to see. Uh, I took 30 of them in this list, yeah. uh, 3 by 10 yeah. And 
they mulch infantry extremely well, mm -hmm. um, especially in a meta that I find is very common to have just a ton of infantry bodies on the board. They can pull their weight in that sense, and if they're not, if I'm going into something that they have literally no plan to, they're a great scoring unit that your opponent just has to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, they flip objectives very, very well too. Uh, just like showing up with like 10 bodies on 25 millimeter bases, three inch deep strike away, and then just s steal an objective from your opponents. Um, from here, I took tunes to Seekers, which are like the demonettes on horses. Mm -hmm. um, they're amazing. Fuck they are Seekers are really crazy. Do you know what they do? I they well, scout no, nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They scout nine and move 12, 14. 14. Yeah. Jesus. Where's <laughs> And they're big bases, yeah. so yeah, they are so, so, big, so like, they are mounted, so they can't really go through buildings. But you can like it's kind of like, think of it like a space wolf jail, like it's like right, that, right? Right. You can yeah, you can and they're just like well. controlling movement, controlling board states, so yeah. they can get the greater demons in there. They're uh, awesome. They do not hit at all. They yeah. I <laughs> right, I think I charged right. them once that entire tournament. Well, they are not designed to kill. They have what twelve attacks total, I think, between the extra attacks, and then they have sustain on one they or dev wound. They have more attacks than that, but uh, okay, okay, they have more than twelve. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, right? dev wounds. Oh no, each one has like they have three. Three per three per base, and then they have ten extra attacks. It's twenty three attacks in total. And then one has lethals and one has deaths, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I think they're I think they're fantastic they're units. Yeah. How much is a unit? Of Eighty six? points. T four two wins five of pinball. How come? How come you think we don't see more of those? Um, mainly just because I think they're either slept on or people yeah. are far too into monster mash. Yeah. Um, actually, they're mm. quite a common pick nowadays. If you just recently within mm. the last like few weeks, okay. a lot of people have been taking seekers. Um, I kind of just got a little bit ahead of it, mainly sure. just because like I was terrified of Alpha Strike armies at this event for sure. Because I'm like, I see world eaters, I see a lot of yeah. world eaters. You were and right. Then, you were right to be scared. There was yeah like five world eaters, five space wolves, or something like crazy mm -hmm. like that at a. 40 person event. Yeah, yeah it was, it was not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. So Blood Angels, uh, they Blood don't really Angels stop Blood Angels, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, they no, just fly right really, over they you. They don't really yeah, stop Blood Angels. But they can stop mostly every other... And they mm -hmm. control the board state, too. And also, they, they choose combat, right? Mm -hmm. So that they can initiate things That's where... Um, or uh, say so you're going first, so you can early scout to go to a containment or a sabotage. Mm -hmm. You can get a good early sabotage or anything like that. Precisely. Like you can you can score those early points that you need to, um, and also stop them from moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly it, the and them as the opponent. I yes. have a question on these ones go specifically ahead. because I've seen a fair amount of screamers getting some play as of late. Mm -hmm. They seem to occupy a similar niche, I would say, a similar much, like yeah. um, uh, role on the board. Mm -hmm. Would the choice to go with those? Uh, sorry, that, that's the fiends, or that's the seekers. seekers. The seekers, sorry, the fiends are the other ones. Uh, the seekers. The choice to go with them would be just for mono god purposes, or do you think they're better than? I think screamers. they're better than I think they're better than screamers. Really? Uh, screamers have their own niche for sure. Yeah. Um, the seekers in this case did in fact fit much better into my list just mm. due to the fact that I was running basically all Sunesh demons and. It, it just works in the case that if I need that clutch three, it's like six inch deep strike where I need like one right. more wound taken off, like I can have that. And screamers are definitely, it's like a five point difference between the units. And five point cheaper for screamers? Yes. Yeah. And um, so it's not more really wounds, but more wounds, and they do mortal wounds, right? And they go through walls. Yeah, yeah and they're beasts. They beast. move yeah. 15, 14. 14, sorry. Yeah. 14. They move 14. Uh, they have like the, um, the similar thing to race when they go over yep. bodies. Yep. And Even then they have, but they have three wounds and a four pin ball? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're T4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the T4. Mm -hmm. They're not. They don't, and they don't great. hit. They don't hit. At they all. do not hit at, at all. all. Like well, they have a two damage weapon though in the melee. They it's, hit on fours. Yeah, but they hit but on fours. But it's six. It's like six two two, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Six two two. Yeah, which is not which is fine. awful. Yeah. But. So point Tell being, but the point, the reason yeah, you take yeah, them in yeah. the, your, you don't take them. Sorry, in your list is because the 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 um, ability to have the slanesh keyword For opens sure. up play for you obviously yeah right, and yeah. in that sense too it also just allows me to get those pre-game moves when i need them and in addition to that if i'm going in the full alpha strike list i've strung a unit like you can string a unit out like 20 inches across the all board. those big long like yeah like uh, and it's horse base thing yeah and if they don't called. have shooting to deal with them yeah. there's nothing they can do yeah. and it's like you can stage all your greater demons behind them it's like cool charge them i cool. dare you and Makes then sense. yeah so point being seekers good really yeah, slept on pick seekers, cool. um and then finally here's the weird part of my list uh i brought a it unit. hasn't been weird so far yeah not weird at all <laughs> uh i brought a unit of six fiends which is That's right. not common at all. Um, it was. It is a giant brick of like T5 four wounds uh, with a five up invul. Yeah. Um, they emit a six inch aura of minus one to hit in melee. So long as you're not a like anything a vehicle, that's right. it. Yeah. Um, and same they, thing as Nurgle. Like yeah, same exactly. Thing. Right. So a Nurgling. Sorry. Yes. Exactly. Um, so regardless, is that it's just a it's a it's a bomb. 
like, the entire purpose of this fiend unit was for one of two things. Either it camps my home objective, and they run up the board with their massive movements, and mm -hmm. then they... Because they're beasts, so they breach. They are beasts, yeah. And then <laughs> the other thing that I really like doing them uh, with them is leashing them off, like, a, my Keeper or Shalaxi towards something that just has no ability to deal with them. Or they get tied up with them the entire game. Like, they've been tied up in units of, like, destroyers for a whole game and just not even letting them right. jump in Necrons. Same thing with, like, Grey Knights and everything mm -hmm. like that. Like, it's... It's a weird unit that you've not seen often, and it's a, such a weird profile to deal with. Like, it doesn't take nothing to deal with them, for sure, but it really does... Yeah, you you know. your opponent has to invest something into them, and yeah, you can you can tarp it. Mm -hmm. Stuff that can't fight melee melee. And you can right. also, like, you can kind of consider it like a, like a fifth grader demon. Yeah, precisely. Right? Like, yeah. with that base size, but, you know, you can kind of move it around a little bit differently. Bit and print. Sure. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. They have huge the, bases, yeah. Yeah, the big, long... What are those bases called? Those like are like bike, by bike bases or whatever the heck they're called. They're yeah, they're yeah bases, biker bases, bike yeah. bases. Yeah. mounted bases. Mount they're beasts. They're mounted bases. Yeah, most things that are mounted are not on that anymore. But anyway, yeah, sure. But they were contending with the uh, Wardog carnivores in my list. Oh, is, is what they were contending mm -hmm. with mainly because carnivores Carnivore, are just okay. they synergize quite well with my army because they're more minor threats that my greater demons don't want to be dealing with, and then carnivores can go clean them up as needed. Um, and, and a good trading piece too. Precisely, yeah, and yeah. then good high strength in my army is not something commonly come by. The only thing above strength 8 is Shalaxian Bellacor, which but, is wild. I mean, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. um, why, if you were considering war dog allies, your army is a l pretty shy on shooting. 100%. Brigands yeah. don't factor into the equation at all, or what do you... Have Too you, expensive for me. 170 is definitely... What's carnivore? I think they're... Oh, are Brigands 170? I thought they were in 180 Brigands or something. Brigands are 170. 170, yeah. yeah. But cheaper than Playboy Scholars. Yeah. Carnivore's nice, though. Carnivores, Carnivores are 140? Are 140, 14-inch move, ridiculous. free reroll to charge. <laughs> That's way too cheap. They pick up, That's like, everything. Cheap. It's That's great. That's so cheap. It's great. The same, the same uh, damage profile as Angron. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're the fucking Siege Claw or whatever. Not the Siege Claw. The, the murder, murder Claw, Slaughter Claw. Slaughter Claw. It's a Slaughter Claw. Yeah, in, yeah. in Imperial Knights, yeah. it's a Siege Claw in... Yeah, in yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slaughter yeah. Claw. Slaughter Claw. But, um... Okay, uh, I yeah. can see that. I've taken them before. I actually did pretty well with bringing two carnivores in a list um, uh, back in Alberta Classic. Cool. Um, I went... Uh, actually, at Alberta I Classic. Two. I went 3-2-1. Uh, 3-2-1? Two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah. My, tie, my draw was a 90-point draw, which was Dude, crazy. Dude, I love those draws. I had brutal. I had a 99-point draw. Gordon. That was you? With Gord, yeah. Oh, I didn't know Shout out to Gord, was, man. Was that yeah. That's funny. That was at the yeah, classic. That was, the classic. That might have been, it was round one of the classic. I think mm -hmm. we had a 99-99 tie, and it just messed up all the parents yeah. for the rest of the, rest of the event. Yeah, we were all mad at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I thought I was losing that game handily, and then uh, we were punching because I had bought return scoring. We were punching in the final numbers on our both. We were both tracking on our app, and I look at it and I'm like, I got 99 to 99. He's like, Yeah, me too. And we're like, I don't know how that happens, but okay. <laughs> we're going <laughs> cool, Dude, man. It is great about it too because you actually just because I think we went. At, I think we were going against each other that one. We that went time. against each other Round three. on the. Yeah, the last day, the last game on Saturday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Just I think, like you, I think because you tied, you actually boost my win percentage up. Hey, you know, my yeah. strength schedule. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thanks. Of course. So you, you're playing. Uh, I don't know if you because is it. I guess an off meta demons list, and I, I think say, you, yeah. I think you mentioned something really interesting because I, um, having something a little off meta has inherent value. Like there 100%. is there is something to be said for like I think that's a lot of the reason that like a really good. Uh, ad mech player can like kind of punch up a little bit more than he maybe should have just based on the faction. Well, look at the last GT. Look who got second place. Gene Sierra Cults. Mm -hmm. right, Lowest yes. win percentage yeah. rate in undefeated Gene Sierra Cults at mm -hmm. our last event. Same exact thing, right? There's this weird. Not everybody knows how to play Gene Sierra Cults. Not everybody knows how to play against pure Slanesh demons, yep. right? Most people probably haven't even played against Seekers. Period. Nope. <laughs> so, so you can kind of like down. do weird things that people aren't expecting. 100%. Yeah. And you have so many people just asking you questions about your army because they're like, what does this do? Like, it looks scary. And I'm like, good. Mm -hmm. Be afraid. Mm -hmm. um, but regardless, it's um, definitely within my interest to be in that weird kind of niche segment. In ninth edition, I only played Mono Slanesh Demons toward the back half. Oh. I did very well with them, yeah, yeah. as a matter of fact. Oh. And that's something I would like to get back into more so just to see where the meta goes I with mean, my army and stuff now. like that. Yeah, exactly. Right? So... Um, what I'd be looking for, I guess, in the future for my faction is yeah. I actually, I'm actually really interested in seeing if like they give like each detachment like a god kind of thing, like like the, I know like mm. god allegiance. What do they do in ninth? They it was, it was each god and then undivided. 
Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they'll probably do something similar, probably I imagine. I, mean, I would it really seems hope obvious so. that they should do the same thing, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. It's very obvious that should happen. Yeah. And then each one had its own enhancements. Or I guess uh, relics and warlord traits. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's hopes and dreams for Codex, for which sure. is coming out soon. What? Ne ne no, nope, not even announced. Demons? Not a chance. No, nah, the only the only that the only things that are on the roadmap so right now are guard, imperial knights, and Eldar. Yeah. That's like the roadmap, and that's also wasn't Death knows? Guard supposed to be November, and then nah. when they changed, there was it? like a there was like a possibly fake roadmap floating around mm. that also had like world leaders and stuff on it too. Yeah. The only, like, confirmed, confirmed stuff that was, like, whatever, a month ago-ish now was yeah, just yeah, those yeah. three. When they said that uh, Blood Angels is going to end the year. The yeah. Blangles, yes. That's Blood Angels. They, they told us that um, we were all done. We were all done for the year. Yeah, we're done. So, but I was curious. So, obviously, we want to see some more depth as uh, for Codex. But mm -hmm. we are also on the verge of a points change. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting just points this time. They kind of, like, have mud muddied the waters a little bit of, like, they told us it was going to be just points. And then three months later, it'll be just rules. But they've kind of like messed that rule up a few times. 100%. So, so in a in a upcoming points change or rules change, what do demons need? Do you think they need anything? What do you want to see? What's your wish list? Um, within the context of points changes, mm. um, I can expect some nerfs to some particular problems within my group. Uh, I think the great and clean one is going to go up for sure. I think the endless gift is going to go up. Mm, yeah. uh, the enhancements. So, what is a great and clean one right now? Two thirty. 230 Which plus is 20 for the enhancement? 30. 30. But 30. you just roll that into his tax. Like, you take that every time. Yeah, the problem is, is that Nurgle has always had this weird identity crisis with how they try to, like, structure them. It's like this weirdly tough body that does no damage, and then it's just mm -hmm. like a meat slab that is, like, completely, <laughs> like, can't punch. Big, chunky boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then the idea is that they price he them, like... He is fat as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we yeah. don't body shame around here, Cass, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen that model? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen him, though? <laughs> yeah, go on, man. He ain't, he ain't ashamed nothing. <laughs> no, he's not no, ashamed No, he ain't ashamed. I don't think Nurgle as a god it has much shame it's not really part not of the pantheon <laughs> I don't think no. any of them really are but but um yeah I think he's gonna go up for sure I think that right. um sure. some weird players that aren't seen much in demons are gonna go down hopefully um my number one wish list item though is I want Shalaxi to draw by like 20 points she's the 50 point increase on her at the start of the edition was yeah. needed it was too much right. um her going down to 130 or 4, 430 430 I'd like to see her there. She said, you see that 450 right, 450, right 450 right now? 450 right now. I think that you would see mainly just a lot more play in case of going down for that. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's fine where she is, but if that was to go down, that's my number one ticket item. Um, hopefully we see more decreases in some battle line units that aren't taken as much, like Blood Letters, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Pink Horrors. Pink Horrors, I was running a lot of those at the start of the edition. Yeah, I've seen they a are a them here and there, but weird unit, yeah, man. It's a very I love Pink Horrors, but they're, they're so they're weird. They're great. Yeah. If you know how to deal with them, they immediately you lose their value. You like three models. That's why I could never play DMs. Per, like per model? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, many you models, do. I just can't do it. But, um... Because <laughs> you got pinks, blues, and brimstone. Correct. And they right? split into each other. Right. Yeah. So I just, like, no. I'm um, some model. other stuff that I'm what looking do you, What about blood letters? What do you think of them? Blood letters, um... I think they're fine. I think that the role that they fulfill is okay in monocorn. Monocorn, I would actually argue, is the most viable way to play Mono Demons right now, mm. mainly just due to the Ren Master, who is a mm. excellent character, yeah. um, who basically just points at anything in the game and then is like extra damage, plus and one damage, plus one AP, correct, and, and can stack it with other Ren Masters. Yeah, so that's the interesting thing, Ooh. I guess. With if you look at my list, comparing it to what mm. is meta at the moment, mm. um, you'll notice a lot of like Blood Crushers, lots of Ren Master, uh, Blood Thirsters too. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like them at all. Um, blood Blood Thirsters, I actually cannot. I can't play them. I don't know why. It's just they're either too slow. Um, they don't hit at well. They hit hard, obviously, but they can't take a punch. I would rather not have my greater demons be trade pieces. I'd much rather have them sit midboard and be a problem, even if they can't kill something. That's why I like keepers in comparison to them, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then in addition to that, um, I would probably say that uh, well, corn is definitely of appeal to me. Mm. I just kind of like the more. I guess, like, elevated stature of kind of some of the other Chaos Gods, like, in the sense of, like, it's more artistic in the sense that, like, that's why I like Slanesh so much, is just because it's, like, it can be whatever you want it to be, I guess. Like, I've themed my entire army off of, like, excess and fear. Like, you know, mm. like, you can't really do that with Korn, is my point. But it's, like... Yeah, he's kind of <laughs> mono-themed. Yeah, right? uh, yeah, he's, like, yeah. like, simplistic well, is my I mean, point. It is, it is simplistic, I guess, compared to, like, Slanesh or mm. Zinch or something like that, for sure, right? Yeah, but then, um... 
in that vein, I'm definitely of the opinion that I would much rather stand out in, like, that weird sense of it's, like, here's the guy who, not just taking, like, a weird, like, like meta mono corn list, right. just kind of, like, won another event. I want to be the guy who's, like, oh, here's the mono slanesh, like, weird slant who won an event in that way. You want right? to be a special build. Exactly, right? <laughs> so, yeah, just another thing to think about, I guess. Like, yeah. I, I definitely am competitive, but I focus more so just on, like, the principle of what it stands for to really be within the competitive community and try and make your own name and identity for oneself. No, I, I can totally get that. Yeah. That's, that's, I think a lot of, especially guys we play with, mm -hmm. have a very similar philosophy. They'd rather, nope, nobody that I think we play it with often loves to just net deck or um, net list, I guess, in this yeah, case, yeah, right? Yeah, like but every changing the list all the time. Like, it, it's all about, sure, they might play like a faction, but that might align with a codex that's out or whatever it yeah, is, of right? Course, if you just get it, your new codex, you have all the permission. Not, not like you it, need it, it. It's hard, though, because like it, it's hard to net deck or net list because like if you already have the army, then that's you right. can start playing it, right? That's like, right. you can't just go and get another army. Like, unless well, you go and buy one, I guess it's fully painted. <laughs> that's it, right? And just be a jerk. We try. Sometimes we try. We try, yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> Like th th I think that's the beauty of it, and it, it still goes down to player skill. But in in our group in particular, we uh, you know we try things, and then we try like new niche things, or like just like writing a seekers in a list mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, you like I think there's yeah there's a lot of satisfaction to even if you are playing a meta army. Like so, obviously Necrons have been strong since their codex dropped. I mm -hmm. played Necrons; it's like my first army, right? Mm -hmm. So I super love them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I I like. In a similar fashion, I like Destroyer Cult. I want to make Destroyer Cult work, right? Mm -hmm. And that was before Scorpex even got a buff, and they're actually kind of good now. What do you know about Destroyer Cult? You, know <laughs> you don't know nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a whole, that's a whole callback too. Yeah. Um, but that's that there's a lot of satisfaction, like you said, to bringing something weird, something off meta, and like actually making it pop in a tournament, right? Hundred percent, yeah. huge. And like I said, um, we mentioned when we were talking about the most recent tournament, you went four and one. You beat me. I, I did. Yes. Oh, you guys went against each other. We did. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. He, beat, he beat Tony round one. Yeah, that's also My, oh, that's a tough draw for round one too. Yeah, but Tony is no slouch, and he also plays against demons a lot. Also plays against demons a lot. Uh, I drew Adam Green turn one. Also not a great. That's draw the turn. worst. That's actually the one matchup you wanted, and not because Adam. That's like you don't want to go against Votan at all. No, I don't want to go against Votan at all with yeah, knights. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely yeah. not. Also, it's piloted by one of the best players in the city for sure. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, the final boss just showed up at level one and just punched me in the head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. <laughs> but yeah, oh. you drew Tony round one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I think we played third round three. Round? Yeah, right, that's so last game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. That's right. You managed to punch through my, my, uh, my Imperial Knights as well. You know, I, I told this story a couple times at the tournament, but you know how you say jokingly that you shot your entire army at something and it didn't die? <laughs> You can back me up on this. That was literally my entire that army. That literally was your entire <laughs> you army. You had like three entire... pieces. No, I had two big knights and six or seven little knights, and I charged with the little knights. Like, it was I, oh, everything. Oh, wow. Everything. Uh, under what? Great Into the, uh, the Great Uncle. Oh, yeah. yeah now, yeah. It, and it, it, obviously he's tough. Everybody knows he's tough. Um, but it wasn't even the field of pains that got you there. It was just uh, the four-up invulnerable saves. They were just like yep. the four-up invulnerable saves. And that's, that's how... It, it, people who've played into Custodius have had that similar experience. Right? I, did like, that, I did that at Orchard. Mm -hmm. right. My loss to Custodius was... It was like a warden unit right in the center there, and uh, I shot. I swear to God, like I swear, it was like it, it felt like like Spike. <laughs> I know you're listening, and I know whatever. I, I don't mean I'm. It just it. He was like rolling it like it just like fours. And there was oh there's there yeah. was like nineteen fours, <laughs> and that was that was it. I'm like, why? Yeah, what do you do? You oh, I, I can't do anything about it. Nineteen. Can be mad. You're just because like, I, like, yeah, I think I shot cool. like Sick. all my melted girls, the two emulator meltas, grenades. And some flamers, like, I, it, it happens. It does happen. Uh, to your credit, Jake, you're a pleasure to play with. I think you got best sport. I did take best so sport. Like, yeah. it's not, yeah. like, oh, awesome. We had a super fun game. Yeah. Uh, you beat my butt, but uh, it was it was very fun. Of course. I, I, did I, you I vote for him? On air. Hi. Uh-oh. I, uh -oh. So? I, I, I <laughs> think so. Uh-oh. I voted for you. Oh, man. <laughs> I right. voted. I think See? I, that's I what I was saying. Everyone votes for you, man. That's why, that's why I, I don't I vote want, for I you. Best vote. But no, you have to vote for me because we're on, we're on. We have to collude. That's how, I know. That's I how know. it works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went on a tournament and I other. actually didn't vote for him. And he's like, "What the fuck, guys? <laughs> 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 Who'd you Brutal. vote? Who'd you vote for?" I'm like, "I don't know." Uh, 
I don't even remember who I voted for. He's like, God damn you. I think That's I funny. I, either, I, I honestly don't remember. I either voted for you or Kyle. Kyle Thorpe is, oh, is a pleasure to play that with as well, course, always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always oh, have yeah. fun playing against yeah, Kyle. Yeah. So. Hey, Salamanders? Yeah. yeah, yeah super, yeah. super fun. Yeah, so yeah. I don't remember. It might have been you. It might have been him. It's one of the problem. Other. Yeah. It's um, um, you won anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I guess looping back to that event, my, sure. only, my only loss was into James. Uh, which I'm, you're familiar with is my. Uh, he's just a really good friend of mine. Yeah, we've been. I've known him since high school. His we've. Elk? Uh, Death Guard. Death, Death Guard. Guard. Yeah. Death Guard. Okay. He was the only Death Guard at that event. Uh, oh. Yeah. He's being me with Bold his Death Guard. And I was playing as Amir. Yeah. <laughs> he's an excellent yeah. player. Excellent, excellent. Very, player. very good. Um, he is the only one who really knows how to deal with my army, mainly because we just play each other so often, which is really funny. And I would actually consider, in the sense that. Uh, <laughs> It's what we get we experience, <laughs> yeah, all yeah, yeah. and we get paired up in tournaments it's all the time. Funny. Yeah, we do. Weirdly enough, but, yeah. Uh, Dave uh, made that same point on our our podcast before. Was right. like, um, a lot of people will say if you want to get better at the game, play people outside of your friend group, which which is true to a certain degree because you want to like get more reps into different armies and mm -hmm. different archetypes and different personalities and all that stuff. But your hardest games are probably against your friends because you've played against them a, a dozens of times. They know how you're going to play. And so back and forth, so they keep those those like super freaking hard games. So he, he oh, beat, so ridiculous. He, what, yeah. what was the? Do you remember the score in that game that he beat you? It destroyed me. It was like oh, thirty. Yeah. It was like thirty five points difference. I think it was like Damn. fifty something to like uh, low nineties on how, his part. How, how did how did that happen? Um, Death Guard in all of my cope for why I lost. Uh, Death <laughs> yes, Guard's a very poor poor matchup to me. Um, mainly because yeah, half like, damage exactly, and they completely neuter my ability to also you know like be tough. Yeah, and in addition to that, they destroy my ability to Wait, hit anything. Wait, how are they damage? Melee. Who's halfing damage? Just this is two, two, two CP half damage. Is it half minus damage one. or minus, minus one? one? Minus yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, but it's half damage for him because he's losing two. Lots of my two yeah, damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. It's essentially half damage. Right. And then also, uh, it's, it's a really favorable matchup as well because they have a lot of moving pieces and kind of go around that are just as tough. Mm -hmm. But um, his toughness is kind of gone because then, uh, or actually, his ability to kill something is gone because you just do the minus one weapon skill plus skill because you don't need to do the AP. So then, so then his Cast ability knows. to Cast has got the inside track. Uh, yeah, no, well, he's I, just, I played against a lot of these with a death card. It's very easy to counter my army with yeah. that army because it's like yeah. it's a complete anti buff. It's a problem, right? Is that I don't do anything in shooting, right? So then, like right. the right. It's idea, only one phase, and you're in the contagion. Yeah, and it's like great. So I charge my unit of six fiends into like a unit of cultists, right. a unit of cultists, right. and then they have a nurgling unit within six so minus two, and then so it's like great. My unit of six fiends that is supposed to be five. picking up a unit of infantry a turn fives. To yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> great, I get like three, <laughs> so five good. hits. It's like great, that's awesome. Huh. Um, so yeah. that's how that happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mortarian, that game actually just like tangled with the great unclean one. That combat lasted four turns, guaranteed. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight turns of combat because sure, yeah. the great unclean can't kill him, and Mortarian can't right. kill him. Yeah. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that was another mess on the other side of the board. Mm. Uh, Rodigus showed up in my back line with Typhus and his death shroud buddies. I'm like, oh, I've seen this one before, <laughs> um, and I can't deal with that. Mm. Um, in addition yeah, to that, he was also right. running three carnivores, which were probably my main priority. Oh, I didn't see his list. That's a cool. That's yeah, cool. he had a Morty, Rodigus, three carnivores, mm -hmm. bunch of plague marines. Mm -hmm. No, did no plague marines. No plague marines. I don't. Yeah, there was no wow. plague marines in That's that spicy. list. Uh, Death Shroud, cool Typhus, list. and then some Poxwalkers, Cultists, and I believe that was it. Was some no plague marines. That's cool. I, yeah. I checked that list out. That he's good. Cool. He's he's really good. Uh, he had a tough lineup that tournament too. He was into. We went into me, so I screwed him up some score, and then uh, he <laughs> I mean, went into that much he went into <laughs> he went into Adam and lost. Sure, then he went into then he went into Anthony uh, and okay, lost. Yeah, also a rough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I guess like besides that game, uh, my record was extremely good. Yeah, I got some pretty much. solid matchups in there too. Jakari in my first game was actually a really good matchup for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my shooting is terrible, but it is excellent at picking up infantry. Yeah, little it is weak really things. really good at picking up infantry. Yeah. Um, Knights is a wash for me almost every time because yeah. they either can't because they rely so heavily. I find on. N not volume of shots, just like quality. So then, that's yeah. where my invol really spikes, right? Yeah, because yeah, then it's yeah, like yeah. in the sense that, great, you deal eight damage. I ignored like seven of them, yep. right? And that doesn't yep. matter. So then, and then I pick up a knight, I try to big knights every turn, For sure. hopefully. You're, like, yeah, you're 100 percent right. It's 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 a wash in the fact that if you roll the four ups, you're good. If you don't roll the four ups, you're not, yeah, you're well, not good. That's just how my <laughs> whole <laughs> army plays, right? Yeah, <laughs> but especially on knights. Four ups win games, yeah, because. We both have a ton of points invested mm -hmm. in, like, two or three models, right? Yep. 
and if those two or three models don't show up, that's that's basically game mm-hmm. right there, right? So like in that example I gave where I shot everything at the, uh, you had a really good move too in our game where uh, Shalaxi was literally on your home objective and advanced and charged uh, my big knight that was basically on my deployment line, and I mm-hmm. was like, oh. Oh, I see. She's yeah. fa- she's she fast. <laughs> so, sir, how does that advanced charge work? Does the um does the target unit that you're charging have to be in the shadow, or does the unit your target of stratagem have to be in the shadow? It's the target of like your unit that you're charging. So the idea is that you advance with them, and then as long as your unit starts Lesson the six. charge phase within the within shadow, within That's shadow, the, yeah. So within idea. six on like say Shalaxia, you'd want to advance her so she's within six of them, or just in no. Well, the idea is that you get it just so that because she's always within shadow is the idea because mm-hmm. she counts as herself being within shadow. Yeah, no, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. so like. Like the six inch doesn't really matter, is my point. No, I, I'm saying like, does the unit you're targeting have to be in shadow, or does the oh, unit just the unit, just, just like unit. like your unit has to Shalaxi be in shadow? Okay, okay yeah, yeah. Just yeah. I was thinking the unit, sorry, the, the the unit targeted by the charge has to be in no, shadow. No. Okay, good. That's Shalaxi good. Shalaxi has to be in shadow. To yeah. Do it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you'd there. have to target the one. Uh, hey, if your unit's in in shadow, mm-hmm. target this with a strategy that can advance the charge. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the yeah. best but, part. Right? But it's not if the unit you want to charge is in shadow. Then you can advance it, and then if yeah. advanced, so like that—that that was always the kind of skew. Like, mm-hmm. and then I always try to explain, like, do I have to be in the shadow, or does no. your unit have to be my in the unit. shadow? My <laughs> unit. That's a good clarification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your no. opponent for sure when yeah. you're playing yeah, against yeah, demons. For sure. Absolutely. And I think uh, some I some assume... neat stratagems too with uh, chaos that people need or chaos demons that people need to know about. Yeah. Is Denizen of the Warp? It is such a great stratagem. Oh. It is one. so good. Oh, it's so it's great night. It what just pick up three units. Oh, it's oh, upside yeah, down. It's like uppy downy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's we but then they also have a three inch strike after. I don't know what anything is yes, called. It's called uppy downy. Yeah, so they have a dens of the warp, so they can just at the end of the turn they can pick up to two. But if it's in the shadow, it's three. Uh, if no. it's it's one if they're outside of shadow or two if they're both within it. Which Got it. at this point, like, and again, this is such the this is the great part about this uh, points update or sorry the data yeah. slate was yeah. because now that my whole army is basically consistently within shadow, it's like I wouldn't have been able to pull that yeah, off right it, it before mm-hmm. data slate. Yeah. So and this was my first event um, post data slate that I've even run like this list is right. the idea. Right. So that's where it is that I've like again like pulled my pulled my first four and one out mm-hmm. of this was the fact that it's like I would attribute a lot of that to this new rules change. Oh, uh, yeah, hundred so, percent. Yeah. What about um? It's a really good unit. Uh, flamers. Ooh. So ninth oh, edition. We're, we're not talking about ninth edition. Flamers. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he does not those like flamers. Those are tell you right now. Those those flamers are gone. Okay, yeah, they, are. they don't exist anymore. <laughs> Thank God. Get over it. Okay? Thank God. <laughs> now the the ones now. Mm-hmm. You're looking at their profile. And they're looking at their dashes. I don't think they're terrible. I don't, I don't think they're bad at a, a three-man unit to kind of go behind a backfield and shoot off things in the back objective because I think that's what the role they would kind of play. Right. And then maybe score a cheeky behind enemy lines or sabotage later in the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think of that? I think that that has a role in itself, 100%. I think they're unreliable. Mm. I think that a D6 shots each, 4-1-1 one, one is fine. Dude, strength 4 is rough. That's strength the art that rough. really is tough to get yeah, by. Yeah. Um, especially units of 3, it's not great. Units of 6, yeah. maybe I could see it, but... Especially at the points cost of 75. It's like if you want a mobile kind of... 75 for 3? 75 for 3. That's but it's one. like... Yeah. The idea is that if they're you want to... They're 3 wins a piece, though. They're T4 3 wins, yeah. 4 yeah. up in vault, which is fine. It's fine, but... 85 but points with Seraphim at five, 1 wound a piece, 5 of them. Uh-huh. But that's worse. It is worse. <laughs> Here's and it was so much better. No, yeah. because you have sister's rules to help <laughs> I Seraphim. I understand. <laughs> it's not, it's I'm just giving us math. <laughs> no, no, the math doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I was, uh, we had, um, we had a, in a team uh. event in Edmonton, we had a Demons player on our team. Okay. And he had, I don't remember how many exactly, but he had a fair amount of flamers in, in his list. Mm-hmm. And we got paired into an Orcs player. And I'm like, you're good to mess up this Orcs player, Mm-mm. right? And he's like, Mm-mm. absolutely not. Really? No, because boys are T5. Yeah. And Flamers are strength oh, four. Oh shit! That's yeah. the problem. Because like, uh, on paper that makes perfect sense until yeah. you look at the actual numbers. A bunch of flamers into orc boys. Hell yeah! No, uh, like flamers. Like everybody else has strength four, five flamers. Flamers, unfortunately, do not. <laughs> Precisely. And uh, which I was shocked at because there's a I'm pretty sure sisters have strength six. That's cute. That's like, cute, Cass. Again, again. Thanks, Rob. Really, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that's why they're better. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah sorry. You, okay, we don't on. mean to interrupt you. You're the, you're the professional here, yeah, but yeah. Flamer is no, just not sure. worth it, eh? Not worth no, it. No, no, no. We, we've been, so. been over this before. If you're on our podcast as a faction focus, you are the professional. Okay, okay. You, are the okay. Best you, you tell us best. that we're dumb. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think yeah. the. Yeah, they're not great. To be okay. perfectly honest, okay, I think cool. I think in fast. comparison, if you take screamers, they fulfill a role <laughs> of scoring yeah. more, much more in that sense. Like I feel like you have to divide your army and demons into two very distinctive things that have their own independent roles of scoring and damage because 
Greater Demons are honestly the only reliable source of dealing with anything in the game within this army. All the mm. lesser demons are just far too either unreliable or far too weak to punch above anything that is equivalent to themselves. But if they get in close with stuff that is equivalent to themselves, they will mess it up. Well, I guess like, and, and we can go back to it. I mean, mm -hmm. Bloodletters, probably with the Ren Master, is the only other way you can really do that with a punch up on the smaller yeah, units, right? Yeah. And that's still a combo piece. That's still a lot of pieces have to do be in place. Like you have to be, what, 18 inches invisible for the Ren Master to work? Correct. Which is, which is fine. It's it is easy fine. to do. Yeah. But... Then they have to make the charge. Yep. <laughs> and that's the problem. Yeah, there's a bunch of conditions. To well, that's the thing, right? Yeah, is that yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so many bonuses to charge in our army. Like, almost every lesser demon unit has plus one to charge, which is great. It just helps. But Especially then, when you can show up six inches away. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, yeah. So that's where, like, Monocorn, again, is really good because mm -hmm. it makes the lesser demons punch hard. Like, oh, very hard. Yeah. Which is not something that you can do with anything else. That's why I like kind of Demonettes and more Soul Nash stuff is because every single unit in that, like, slant of the army has dev wounds. So right. I've had, like, a Demonette unit, like, just randomly punch up and kill like four wardens in a turn which like which should not happen course, but they, it just yeah, yeah. does and then i've also had like a fiend unit like even just recently at this event like they'll punch up and one shot a helverin and it's like right. that right. was that was not supposed to happen yeah. but then it does because yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. like 30 attacks and then you're hitting threes but then you have dev wounds on like the 20 that get through right and then it's like they're all two damage right so yeah, yeah. that's the point and then mm. It's using the, your like niche of scoring as an appropriate piece, where it's like these like that giant brick of fiend units. It can be a damage unit or a scoring unit when I need it to be. Those seekers, scoring units plus move block. All my greater demons, they can do both, right? Like, but then yeah. demonettes, like especially in the knights and stuff, like they're not going to do anything. But just I just want to take a quick pause here, and uh, we have a big reveal uh, tomorrow. And it's all chaos focused? For the most part. If they've alluded to it being chaos, like, themed is the idea. Or, or just mainly, like, you know, <laughs> about that. But point being is that uh, I'm actually really interested to see what it is they're going to do with my faction. So one thing that I've noticed, which is really interesting, is that they haven't actually announced any of the other chaos, like, space marine codexes, like World Eaters, Thousand Suns, whatever. Um, and they haven't announced my codex. Right. I've always been a proprietor, and I actually would be very interested in seeing this... Um, would be them basically dissolving my entire faction and Ooh. putting it into each of those codexes and making like Jesus. corn, like oh, codex corn siege. Hold up. I know. Boop, it hot, is oh, a hard take. Hot take alert. Boop, 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 boop. That's, the people are going to be pissed. Is it kind of like in a Imperial Agents kind of codex? We talked uh -huh. about this before mm. on podcast. If they dissolve the Demon's Codex, Curly's going to strangle somebody. He's going to actually kill a person. I think we if wish to go to his nearest him. games workshop and find that employee and just strangle them. Yeah, or he'll literally shit a brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually be yeah, a he'll brick. either just immediately die, pass away, yeah. or he will kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Or like <laughs> or like he'll take a sh <laughs> he'll take a sh he'll take a shit and it's all this pink horrors just in it. <laughs> Because he just ate it. Because he's so mad. <laughs> all the gnome oil he's ingested yeah. over the years just <laughs> comes flying out of him. <laughs> My codex! <laughs> so sorry. I just want to clarify. Mm -hmm. For the for the for the Curlies, the Demons fans out there. Because this is a, a common criticism of the Demons uh, faction in general, that it's not a real faction, right? It's an allied faction, right? La, a la Imperial Agents, which is even more so not a real faction, mm -hmm. right? More mm -hmm. so than Demons, for sure. You're suggesting that you would like to see the Demons not exist as, an, as a faction themselves? Or what, do you, what are you saying? I'm suggesting the fact that if they were roped more so into like their independent codexes that are aligned to their respective Chaos Gods, they might then receive more attention just due to the fact that they're basically one-to-one -one now with the Chaos Legion that they're like, same like thing with, is the mm. idea. So, point being is that because... I personally feel like they've been lacking attention for a lot of years since sure. I've been starting playing. So them being basically one-to-one -one with that, they would expect the same amount of balance. They would expect the same amount of identity. Perhaps the same amount of like interesting rules that some of these Chaos Legions are getting nowadays. And from that, I'd be very interested in seeing just what it is that they maybe could do within the space of breaking that up, right? And Wait, then, so do you, want, do you want Chaos Demons to still exist as a faction? Yes, okay. but within their own respective, like, you play just this god as part of, like, oh. world eaters, oh, you play oh, you're, corn. You're saying you want a corn demons codex. Yeah, like, it's you just, want oh. I want, like, Slanesh demon. is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so you're asking, like, okay, so you know how, like, Chaos, uh, Chaos Space Marines are kind of split up in, mm -hmm. like, their four thing, and I guess, like, in the Chaos Space Marines codex, uh, it is, 
Uh, th- there's a few ones you can kind of go yeah, for yeah. or whatever, but then they still have individuals like Death Guard, War Leader, and, okay, so and, he, and we, 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 exactly we all know what he's coming. Okay, okay, all know okay, Emperor's okay. Okay. Everybody, yes. hold on. Yeah. I take back the hot take alert because I misunderstood the hot take. Oh, that's, a, okay. that's a yeah. that's a that's a that's okay take. Right. I thought you were saying just like Nix this Nix this. No, 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 no. I hate this faction. Screw it. No, no, no. <laughs> I want it to. You want a you want a Slanesh Demons Codex. Precisely. You want a Corrin's Demon Codex, and then detachments within and blah blah blah. That's of course. I mean that'd be that'd be fucking sick if that happened. Yeah, That'd yeah, be cool as hell. Exactly like, I would be I interested in demons if that happened. I really, really like what demons do you play. Oh, I play corn demons. Yeah. Like, that's I, fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Well, it's like, hell. the idea is they just do like how they do it in Sigmar, where it's like Codex corn, Codex Siench, Codex, right, Codex right, Nurgle, right. Slanesh, and then right. the idea probably is that it's like... Probably not far from That probably could happen. Then. Yeah, and it's like... an AOS. Yeah, so the idea is that it's like you have your mortal side, which is like your legions, right? Yeah. And then now you have your demons, and it's like there's rules within the Codex to running them independently from one another, but right. then the idea is that you can mesh them together, and then it gives you either just a lot more flavor, right. and it gives again just a lot more attention. Yeah, because you could still do ally. Ooh. You could still have ally rules within yeah. that yeah. framework. Like your your uh, your world leaders. Okay, you can ally in corn demons, mm-hmm. right? World leaders. I, mean, I guess world leaders can take nurglings, but no one's nobody in world leaders can they even take nurglings? They can't. Only it, it has to be your allied faction anyway. Already. Only so they're allied. We're already there. Yeah, you yeah, we I I like that because I like. Okay, right cool. now with Astartes, you know you're you're, you're playing the um, Adeptus Astartes, but like, yeah. oh, I actually just I'm a Blood Angels player, right? Right. I'm an Ultramarines player. Right. I'm whatever it is. I, I actually have Imperial Fist or Gravity. Oh, like, you're talking about like the Codex, right? But like, stuff. but you know, when you look at Blood Angels, they're by themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, why can't we do that with demons? That'd be fucking sick. That would be fucking sick. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Um, Listen, all right. J- James Workshop. Because James watches, obviously. James, of course, yeah, yeah. James does watch this podcast. Uh, this is our wish from the resident professional, Jake. Uh, we from want Canada. From Canada, Alberta. We want Corn Codex, Codex Corn Demons. We want Codex Slanesh Demons. We want Codex Nurgle Demons. We want Codex Zinch Demons. And is there like a cultist? No, we don't. Do Not that. really. No, we don't do <laughs> undivided. Can get un- undivided. But I think undivided can probably get like sp- sprinkled in somewhere, like unrelated, right? That'd be cool, man. That'd be very cool. I think CSM yeah. just stays where it is. Where Bellacore goes... Oh, like CSM I, is your undivided. The basically. interesting thing is, though, if they did that, I think that Bellacore should function like Archeon does in AOS, where he's like mm. just this like central figure that's really powerful, but then he just floats around the Chaos factions, and then you can ally yeah. him anywhere, yeah, yeah. He and he just gives like yeah. Chaos buffs yeah. in general. Yeah. And it's cool, right? That's but dope. like... I think that's just like something it, I instead want of having to all the marks, like that was kind of like yeah. He's the, he's the undivided he's the undivided guy where mm. you can like yeah. put him in. Ed, he, he has a role. He's in the first every, demon prince, man. He's yes, he is. I don't know the lore on Bellacore. Yeah, he's the, he's the first demon prince. He's essentially the undivided god, right? Which is cool. Yeah, that it's, is that's it's cool. All right, Metal. I want to I want to kind of take it away from this. Mm-hmm. I want to ask you guys a real question. You do a lot of dev wounds, right? Um, you do a lot of precision. Me? Uh, Ooh, sure. Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what, uh, so we're going to combine these two things together. Okay, so here's the rule. Uh, and I don't know the answer. It did come up in one of my games. I don't know the answer. I've done. I've been ruled two different ways. Ooh, uh, and it could be wrong, and I, I don't know which way to rule it. Yeah. So it is... We know everything here, so... All right, so we do an epic challenge. Yep. With a character that has death wounds. Yes. Right? That's, atta- that's the one attacking. Now, when you're allocating attacks, when did when wh- what point are you allocating attacks? And so, say I make all the saves to all the normal attacks, and there's only dev wounds left. Yep. Are then each dev wound allocated to that character, or because it's mortal wounds, is it then like say the character is attached because you did an epic challenge, is yep. attached to a squad? Can you then allocate it to the to the other units? Are you asking Jake? You're asking me. Ask Jake. I'm, Jake that I'm, I'm googling. Don't Google. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. no, no. This is all. So it's all like what you think of the, what the rules are, and I then know we'll the find out the answer to this question. Okay. Well, now I'm afraid to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would think that from the point in which dev wounds would not count towards the given precision on the character because you allocate the wounds after they're already done. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think it is. Right, but it could be like I. It's ruled be either way. I've had it ruled t- two different Hold ways. On. Hold on. So it, you're making this more complicated than it needs to be. Dev wounds are just a version. It's a different type of wound, right? If you have precision, you can allocate wounds. That's all. That's all precision effectively does. You can allocate wounds to a character, right? Or you can allocate the wounds to the to the bodyguard unit. If you decided, oh, that, you know, I didn't get enough precision, I can just throw it on the bodyguard unit. Whatever, right? Dev wounds are just a type of wound. So, but dev wounds 
always occur af- at the end of the activation, effectively, right? So at the end of damage and everything too. Yeah, at, they, they 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 after all saves have been made, all necessary saves, you then do your dev wounds. So if, is is your question? Can you assign dev wounds to characters? Are uh, you assigning dev wounds, or is the opponent assign the dev wounds to the bodyguards? No, you assign you as the person who has precision can assign dev wounds. Cool. All right. Well, that's, that's the rule. That's there. what precision does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we we had it, and um, you know, even in the in the classic or mm-hmm. not the classic, the orchard, it was ruled the other way, and then we oh, I had yeah. I had a situation that it was um, opposite. And I just didn't know the answer because, like, if you think about it, I'm actually on the mindset of Jake, where the dev wounds happen in the end, and then I can now assign it because there's mortal wounds. Yeah, but, but you have, you have but, precision though. But there's still mortal wounds, right? That's what yeah. we were kind of thinking of. So that's that was the direction that it was went in the in the orchard, and then the other way was like, no. I mean, can, we could, uh, we no, could. no, but like the other way was ruled with you. So like yeah. I, that's why that's why I was my yeah, uh, that's my uh, rule the, question of the week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rule question of the week. Yeah, get in the comments ch- section. I'm pretty confident on my answer. I believe Ben. I have been wrong before in my life once or twice. I believe Ben. I need to be one. convinced. <laughs> I think we could look up the precision rules and be very. Obviously, if it just is allocate wounds, yeah. then yes. Weapons with precision in their profile are known as precise precision weapons. There you go. Fuck. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy, dude. Hang on, <laughs> hang on, guys. Hang on for this ride. Can we get a meme in here? Each <laughs> time an attack with such a weapon successfully wounds an attached unit, right? Like a bodyguard plus a character. Uh, if a character model is in that unit and is visible to the attacking model, which we all know that. The attacking models player can choose to have that attack allocated to the character model instead of following the normal attack. But sequence. the attack, yeah, at the wound. Ooh. Yeah, but yeah, but hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's getting spicy. Yeah, but you only. Alloc- but I guess the attack yeah, is you, one yeah, thing. Yeah, you only. Alloc- it's not the hit. You it's only, the attack. You right? only allocate attacks after they've been completed. If you look at like the, we have to go into like breakdown of like mm-hmm. uh, roll to hit, roll to wound. That's all the attack. Mm-hmm. Right? No, yeah, 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 we, yeah. I would have to pull up a whole different fucking chart to make that make sense. But effectively, your precision attack that you're allocating is a hit and a wound roll. But when do, and what point do you decide to allocate that attack after you've wounded? After the wounded, so after so you, dev wounds are going to go towards the precision. Yeah, they're still they're still a wound. They're just a wound that you get no saves. But I guess you would you well you would do the saves first because then that, and then right. after yeah. that then you would know what to do and yes. then the rest would be dev. Correct. But you would actually allocate the damage that went through after the saves, mm-hmm. and then you would go dev wound and then to save the character still alive then the dev wounds would apply Correct. or then yeah, you go right. to bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, I, so don't don't put dev wounds in a different category altogether. They're just wounds that don't get saves. That's it. They're still coming from. Gotcha. I still have. That's the, the best way to describe it. I still it, yeah. have the preci- precision source, right? I still have the attack source, the precision source. Mm-hmm. You just don't get saves against these ones. Cool. I get to allocate them how, however I would norm- a normal attack. You just don't get to have a save. Cool. Well, there cool. you go. What's there you go, viewers. That's uh, the rule. Uh, the rule of week. I sound very confident right and now. And that is uh, T T T O Ben. T O Ben. He's also tall. When you come when you come to my tournament. Better believe that's how it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, coming in tournaments, uh, Bloodbath and Beyond are the team that we're all on. Us three. Are, we are welcome to the team, Jake. Thank Jake, you. Yeah, Jake welcome. is Jake's one of our, our newest, newest recruits. I know. Yeah, about a week and a half in? Two weeks? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Well, we're actually uh, doing our first pre-annual... <laughs> I don't pre- know if it's pre- annual. I don't even know if it's <laughs> annual anymore. What's, but the wor- what's the word for yearly? Uh, a- a- annual. This is the inaugural inaugural tournament uh we're doing an in-house tournament Big word. uh now funny thing is about this podcast uh when uh, we're recording this on friday mm-hmm. october 4th mm-hmm. uh but our tournament is mm-hmm. on october 6th the sunday Correct. it's a three-round rtt uh just in-house uh 12 players that you know that can make it uh there is trophies involved and it's more you know dick swinging points and, and bragging rights yeah. but Hell yeah. uh the best we have to points. submit our lists and what time is it right now? Uh, in an hour and 15 minutes. It is, yeah, an hour and 15 minutes. So we thought we could do something fun. And why don't we all submit it? We're all three of us in this tournament. Okay, we can all right. talk about our lists and, uh, and and submit it together. Okay. Because uh, we don't submit this by 10. We have to <laughs> this is cool. get we, tomatoes thrown at ourselves yeah, or something. Yeah, we get humiliated somehow. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's do it. And because this is airing after the tournament, we're not actually like releasing our hand. We're, we're releasing our hand to each other, in mm-hmm. fairness. But uh, this will probably get released like tomorrow at some point. Well, no, so. anyways. 
this is just for fun. This, this is, is for, for fun. I don't know if people will be interested in this or not, but well, I think uh, we can cool. we can tech for it too. I mean, we got you know another 15, 20 minutes left in the pod, so we got we can tech, <laughs> we can tech. <laughs> we like, can, what do you what do you can th- tech against each other? Well, or or the rest of the field. Well, we don't know what the rest of the field is playing. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we know. Oh, that's brutal. That's, that's the best answer you could have given. That's 100% true. Yeah. If, if we look at the players that are currently listed, we know who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we know, know what's going on. Within a, I would say, a 75% certainty what that person is playing. All right. So we got, <laughs> let's look at the player I list. Because I have my list right here. I'm ready to rock. Oh, I'm ready to rock too. Mine's yeah, yeah. Because I'm not yeah. going to tailor against you guys. I have my list there right here. There is an here. amazing trophy to win. I might tailor. <laughs> there is. Uh, I I worked all of one day with a trophy company to put together some real f- <laughs> fancy schmancy trophies for this event because it's uh this is the first like uh, bloodbath at least in Alberta the bloodbath hosted event. I think this is cool. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do this again at some point. And oh, some of the factions are revealed. Oh, yeah, I didn't hide this. There's, 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 there's a bunch of people who are already on there. I didn't even hide it. All right, so we got Alex Imperial Knights. Uh, yeah, he already Tony Jakari. Yep. Ben, I don't know what he's playing. Mm, mm. Right there. Billy Necrons. Yep. Leagues of Votan. Yeah. And from yeah. who? Uh, Ed. Yep. Yep. His Votan army is Chaos gorgeous, Demons. By the way. Jake. Weird. Weird. Uh, so, other Jake. So weird. Uh, he's playing uh, custodies. custodies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's playing custodies. Uh, Imperial Agents and Jeremy. I love it. I love it. I love it. He's he's been talking about this Imperial Agents list that he's been working on. He's been on vacation for like a few weeks now. So, uh, because we uh, like, we our uh, painting requirement is extremely loose for this event because this is like a last minute, just fun in house thing. The data they came out, right? Like you got to be able to, right? Sure, but like. So I think that that has a lot to do with what uh, Jeremy's bringing in because I guarantee, Mm -hmm. not I don't guarantee, I don't know. I think a lot of it's not going to be painted, but I d- we don't care. It's going to be fun. Um, Gary, so Cass. Uh, Gary. Unknown function. Unknown fashion. Yeah, not unknown. Uh, I, <laughs> not I'm going to say 20 bucks right now. <laughs> he might change his answer. Hold on. All right. Yeah, yeah. you don't want to say that because I'll change it. Okay, I'm just, uh, for those. For those <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, because Cass will scream at 20 bucks. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll lose the event to scream at 20 bucks. Right Guys, I'm going to put this right here. Cass is playing. This. I'll even show Jake. He won't say anything. Jake, that's what he's playing. Probably. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now that phone goes down, I'm not gonna touch it. Continue. I'm playing sisters. Are you? Are you sure? Yeah. Damn it. Fuck. I lost. My <laughs> <death>. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You love your death guard. I do love my death guard. I do love. My I death did put guard. death guard down. Hold on. I'll show you. Just so we all know we're on the same page. I said this. I said. Oh, you I did. DJ. Oh wow. I got twenty bucks. Sweet. Damn it. So I have to play sisters. I hate Owen Cass. It feels bad. Um, Mark is Black Templars. Pretty good. And yeah. then we got uh, other Mark, Blood Angels, and Custodies. So we have a few Necrons, a couple of Custodies, one Chaos, Demons. Uh, I think more than 50% spec. of the That's meta. It's spread, actually. Not yeah, it bad. is. Uh, 50% dudes. of the meta. S- yeah, 60% of the meta is combat. And then what are you? I, I, I K? No, I'm playing Necrons. Connectrons. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, did I say Connectrons? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost said Knights, but it was Connectrons. Oh, yeah. All right, so... <laughs> I had, all right, I had so, my so, list right here. So two Necrons. Cool. This is going to be a fun tournament. So then, yeah, I'm going to play Sisters then. Like, this is going to bounce out this whole... You see that one up top right there? Ready to, ready to rock and roll? I Everybody unfortunately... Saw. So then the only, the only real... <laughs> The real shooty armies are two Necrons, uh, me, and this, uh, Leagues of Otan. The rest this, are all combat. This list, I That's actually, awesome. Good for me. <laughs> yeah, you love that, right? This list, I actually have played uh, in the league a little bit, but I've modified it to have more shooting because I felt like it didn't have enough shooting. So, Do you want to Do you want to run through our list real quick? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, why not? Okay. I'll start us off because mine's right here right now. Uh, this is uh, an Awakened Dynasty Necron list. So nice. I like that. Hypercrypt, I, li- I like that. Detachment. Hypercrypt is very strong right now, just because it s- scores well. Um, I d- I don't know. I haven't had a lot of sex- success with it. Maybe because I'm just a fucking bad player. But it's for a fun one day event. I don't want to. I want to turn my brain off and play some normal Warhammer. I don't want to uppy downy. I just want to have dudes that go up the board at normal speed and do some stuff. So I'm going to run uh, the Nightbringer. Uh, Jake saw the Nightbringer a second ago. Nightbringer is just so good. He, he is 295 points, so like, he's not cheap anymore. He used to be like 250, which is wild. Uh, but he's just so good. Uh, I've got Illuminar Zeris. Illuminar Zeris, for those who play Necrons, know that he is an 
he doesn't do a lot of like damage, but he is a T8 model. I should just look at it real quick here. Yep, T8 model, nine wounds, two up armor, four up invuln, and a four up feel no pain. And in Awakened Dynasty, when he dies, you can bring him back for a CP That's at half wounds. He also gives AOC and gives he out gives extra out, AP. He gives out AOC. Yeah, he's he amazing. Give, he, to, to battle line only, mind you. Do you have a painted one? Do I, I have a uh, shittily painted Do you want to use mine? I have a it, shittily painted one that still be just fine. Thank no, you No, but mine's much. sick. Yeah, but mine's mine. I want to see mine's the table. Mine, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How much is it? He's 185 points. He's not. He's not cheap. He's 100, 175. It's still pretty. He's one of my favorite. He's actually points. one of my favorite. So models the, in uh, I'll armor. get to the rest of my yeah. list in a second. The battle line buff won't actually matter because I'm not picking any battle line. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. We're gonna oh, figure God. it out. Whoa. Uh, but what he does also do is, if he is within three inches of any other Necron unit, he has lone op. So not only is he tough to kill, but you have to actually like get through lone op to get to him. Super good model, especially in Awakened where you can bring him back and he shows back up at the end of the phase. So you have to like double phase kill him to like actually kill him. Super awkward. Uh, I'm running two Locust Lords completely on their own. No no Locust Destroyers with them because, what? get this Cass, get this. This is the my my, my genius. This is, mind this freak. is some hot, We're in Vegas. This is some hot, this is some hot right takes, here. my man. Um, <laughs> by themselves, they are 80 <laughs> points each, right? Which is yeah. not... Super cheap, but for like a like a T6, 3-up, 4-up body, not bad. But because you're not taking them with a unit, you don't have to take the Res Orb. The other option, other than a Res, res Orb, is called the Nano Scarab Amulet, which gives them a 5-up feel no pain. Ooh. All of a sudden, you have this little 80-point unit running around the board, doing actions, doing like... Can Dude, fight that's, space that's really Wait, good. that's actually kind of nasty. It's that's good, right? super Wait, that, good, man. That's kind of nasty. Do they have really Deep Strike keyword? No Deep Strike. No Deep Strike. Oh. They're mounted, so the little, they, move, they move... They move oh. They move. eight. They're mounted, so that the movement is a little bit weird, but they're deceptively tough, right? And they have um, a four-attack weapon that's strength eight, AP three, damage No loan up. No loan up, but but tough, weirdly to, weird to kill. For 80 points... Not Once you see my list, it'll, it'll make sense. Like that's that's actually great. I like that a lot. Then I'm running three Scorpac lords because mm -hmm. Scorpacs are fucking dope. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those lords has a four up feeling of pain himself, which is also very good on a T seven seven wound bottle. Um, then I'm running uh, Technomancer, who will be who has the um, uh, what's it called stealth enhancement for his unit with a unit of wraiths, obviously. One unit of death marks, two doomsday arcs. That's the shooting I I wedged in there. Uh, one Locust Destroyer just for action play, and then the three score pack units to go with their Lord. So, a good balanced list. Like, a little bit of shooting. I ran this list before with no Doomsday Arcs, and I found, like, having, like, zero shooting is kind of rough into some matchups. Like, you kind of want to have some support there. Um, but I'm excited for this list. I think it's cool as hell. That's no, a no really battle line. cool list. I'm a, really cool I'm a list. little bit scared of running no battle line in a world where secret missions exist, but... Uh. I'm gonna go for it. I've seen lists like competitive lists that have zero battle line, so I'm like Listen every single it. one of my lists have almost zero battle line. <laughs> <laughs> every single one. All right, Jake. What are yeah, you, yeah. What, what are you, yeah, what are you yeah. You're, you're, at? you're good. You're good. <laughs> I think um, I'm okay. So I'm at? feeling quite bold in the in the fact that I'm actually not changing too much from what it is that I ran oh, you're recently. Just, you're just the same thing. Not quite. He just wants those trophies. I've changed a few things. I now. want that trophy. <laughs> I want that trophy. I'm going hardcore now. Looks pretty sexy. I showed the guys the trophy. You, sh and you shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have made a cool trophy. Sorry, I made a cool trophy. Now I have to try. <laughs> Damn it. Um, so we've kind of talked about this list already, for, for, the, for the most part. Yeah. Um, we're running the exact same core of an anvil, that yep. being Bellicor, Guo, with enhancements, Keeper of Secrets, and Chalaxia. I was able to cram in the enhancement on the Keeper of Secrets, which is the thing that heals it for every unit uh, model that it kills in melee, Pet which model. is just nice. Just nice to have. Every model? Every unit? Every model. model. Every model. So it's for every model. You at the end of the phase, you roll a d6 on a three up because it's always in shadow. So it's for the three up. You get a wound back. Damn. It's just nice. Yeah. yeah. If you rip through so, a squad. So and this is already a great core because I don't have any easy assassinate targets, which is just an sure. extra bonus. Sure. Um, I was able to cram in uh, two battle line units. So I've dropped my thirty demonets down to only one unit of demonets, and I have instead switched a unit of demonets out for a unit of plague bearers. Okay. For sticky, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sticky, which, they're kind of tough. T yeah. five, two, two wounds. Two wounds, five up in vault, which is not great, but like but it's yeah, better yeah, than yeah. demonets. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're great actually because you want to know why? Is because they are the one unit in my army that is eligible for call the horde that will be sitting in my back objective Dude, the entire I game. I feel that. I feel that so hard. They're a tw they're a twenty oh, wound infantry 20. unit. It's twenty three wounds. Hold on, no, no, hold on, no, 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 no. no. It's a it, it's yeah, a it's 20, 25. 20 man unit 
or twenty five wounds. Yeah, twenty five wounds. Five wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So like, if I, I if, if I ran like a no, no, ten no, blight lord, if right, I ran right. ten blight lords, it would count. Then it counts. So okay. I used, yeah, yeah. in this list I just described, I used to run twenty warriors that just sat in the back with the veil of darkness. You wouldn't recall. It would is twenty man unit. Oh, twenty man unit. Twenty Sorry, man yeah, yeah. unit Sorry. of never mind. Warriors. So it's not twenty wounds. Listen, regardless. you can. You can it, 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 yeah, it comes. They're still out. good. They're still yeah. good. They're still good. Plague bears, excellence. They will be sticking things for me because I found in this last event that I was using my stratagem just built into my army to sticky objectives almost every mm. single turn, right. which is just something that I need with yeah. how few units that I had in this army. Um, so the unit of six fiends stays, which is mm -hmm. something that I did not think would happen. It actually performed above where it is that I thought they would. So they stay because, the, again, there's something that I just chuck at my opponent. Mm -hmm. And it's like a thing that you just see off to the side of the board for the entire game. And mm -hmm. it's like, where is he going to bring down the six giant beasts in the board? And then where is he going to throw them is the point. Because it's like once they're down, like you can pick them up easy, but... Depends where, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I have actually added an extra unit of Seekers to my list. So I have three units now. Three oh, units yeah. of Seekers? I liked them uh, the fives? That. Yeah, three by five. Oh. I liked them that much. Interesting. I think that's awesome. Very I liked them that much. That's awesome, man. Yeah, so that's where it is that's that we're going to be. That's a good change. See, I like with. that change from, uh, and we all made, well, I guess you didn't play Necrons in the last <laughs> event, but uh, I really like your list. Uh, so don't give me don't get, don't get me wrong there. I really like your list. Thanks, but yeah. uh, there's a good changes. I like it. All right, so my list. Yeah. It's not Death Guard, so Ben owes me 20 bucks. Damn it. Um, I'm going to call it Hot Crust Nuns. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, like, say a, a team name, but good jo good job on the team name. That's great. Yeah. Um, do I want to start off with this one? No. Okay, so we'll... we'll I just want to see how... No, I'll start off with the pig. Okay, Are you so tailoring in real time against us right now? No, no, now? no. I just want to tell you... I just want to, guys, you know, I want to tell you how we don't I... Spoil yeah. So... My list in the orchard, I had uh, two penitent engines in it, yeah. um, and also I, I sacrificed angels for it. And I had, what did I have? Can't, I, uh, I, I took some other characters, but my main difference, uh, and what most people don't run, was I had Celestine and two penitent engines. And the reason I wanted to run that, I I figured sisters might be more of a prevalent uh, in the meta game. I know there's a lot of sisters players in Calgary, uh, yeah. but there wasn't. It was just me and uh, one of the guy. Uh, I ended up facing yeah, you, you, round five. Tarek, you paid him. Yeah, yeah you I ended up facing round five. <laughs> so my, my idea was is I wanted to have this pentagon that can advance a charge. They have two flamers. I can initiate combat and then still shoot them off the board. Uh, that was the idea because when, when, uh, when, you, when you're in a sister's mirror, you have to be able to force the opponent to do something and then you kind of wait for your seraphim unit, which is your best unit in that matchup, mm -hmm. to then win that matchup. Uh, I don't. None of us play in sisters here, so I'm going to play more of a, a well-rounded uh, yeah. scoring uh, sister. So I'm going to have a solo cannoness as my first unit. She has a brazier of holy fire, which is a one-shot flamer, uh, and a contemptor bulk gun, which shoots psychers. <gasps> anti psyker two up. Uh, Wait, are all demon psychers? All the greater demons are. Oh, okay. uh, I'm a necron. I uh, she has the enhancement. It's a five point enhancement. It gives her a uh, two up normal save has, and on. a five field of pain. Did you say she has a one shot flamer? Yeah. What is that? It's called the Brazer of Holy Fire. That's dope. What does it do? Uh, it's like, like what it's is a, a D6, uh, it's, it's strength is six. It like, okay. I've never seen that before. That's cool. Uh, me neither. That's dope. I've played a lot D6 of D6 shocks, strength six, or strength six, AP minus one, two damage. Interesting. Cool. Once per game. Cool. Very cool. Uh, she also has the enhancement that gives her two up save, five field of pain. Yeah, uh, she right. already has a natural four uh, invol. Uh, I get once per game two up invol. Sick. Pretty awesome. That's Sick, pretty damn awesome. Uh, I'm going to skip this next dash, and I'll go to it in a second. I have a solo he, dialogus. Ka Cass really likes the drama. If you haven't noticed already, he's got to like build to it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he yeah. just run down our list. He's like, no, I skip this one. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Uh, <laughs> wait for the it. dialogus is a solo 30 <laughs> point unit. Just an yeah. idiot by itself to yeah. score some points and early sabotage and early uh, containment. 30 points? That's why I do it. What is this fucking 30 points? Nobody right. has 30 points. I got the High Lord of Terror <laughs> herself, Morven Vol. Ooh. Uh, obviously, the we know what she does. She gives the full rerolls of hits and wounds. I hate uh, her. Yeah, she's the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another, not controversial, but I would say like 60, maybe 50% of people play her. I think she's amazing is Celestine. Uh, she has mm. pretty some unique rules. If I do attach her to a unit, yeah. I can assign the first damage to uh, one of her Gemini's because yeah. they're not they don't have the character keywords, so they're not considered bodyguards. And then they can kill the rest of the bodyguard unit, and then go to Celestine, and I still have a Gemini and get four field of pain. Yeah, pretty pretty what 
I don't like her. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna stand at me. No, all no, no, no. I just I think um, she's a bad pick. I, I got the the the, 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 the cemetery the herself, Triumph of St. Catherine. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not a sixty percent. That's a hundred percent run. That's a hundred percent. So running. the other character I'm running is Candice on Jump Pack, and I usually always run her with the Seraphim. Mm -hmm. I am this time. But she has the enhancement uh, that gives her uh, extra. Everyone in the unit gets an extra shot to the torrent weapons. Um, yeah. One extra shot. So it's, uh, there's she has one. So it's 96 plus nine, and she also gives sustained on every other gun. Now right. I took away that enhancement at 20 points. Oh. I took it away. I found it to be a win more in a lot of the cases. Like mm. I'm gonna be doing most of the time the same amount of damage, and now I get an extra 20 points, which could sneak my uh, sneak in my dialogus, which is yeah, another yeah, scorer. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that so that was where my math went. Sure. Um, that's the characters. I got two emulators. Most of you, let's actually run three. I run two. I only own two, but yeah. uh, <laughs> they have the multi metals hun hunter killer missile. Yeah. They split units. They're amazing. Yeah. I got two castigators. I've been running two castigators for a long time. I find, I know they're going to go up in points. So yeah, might as well get used to it. What are they at one fifty right now? Dude, yeah. that's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not no doing that. Those are going up twenty points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 twenty five. Yeah. I say one seventy five. I was say twenty five is probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One seventy five, yeah. <laughs> and you, they probably get still taken two at least in every list. So here's the thing with the, my my castigators. I'm going to run auto cannons as opposed to battle cannons. That's that's hot. That's so that's really hot. The actually. reason why so the auto cannons are an extra strength, same AP, same damage, uh, but the the amount of shots are relatively the same because. You get D6 plus three shots mm -hmm. with the battle cannon, mm -hmm. so you can go up potentially nine. Uh, the auto cannons are four shots, rapid fire four, mm -hmm. twin linked at strength nine. But the difference is blast. I can now shoot them in combat. So if I'm ever getting attacked, I actually want to oh, be able to not, shoot. They're not blast. They're right. not blast. Right. The battle right. cannons right. are, That's true. and yep. they're twin linked. So I can kind of yeah. sure up my, I guess, sure up my averages. Yep. Uh, at AP okay. minus one. And now okay. Cascaders also give the extra AP. You don't give a fuck about that. You do. No, I do not. <laughs> I got two Dominion squads. Uh, one with Flamer, one with Melta. I always just like having both. Uh, yeah, different tools. Most people run all Meltas. Yeah. I just like having the ability to adapt. Yeah, for sure. Um, More flexibility. Dominions are probably one of the best units in the, yeah, in, in the entire car. Like, uh, the, yeah, the uh, reactive move. It's insane. Yeah, they're split up. On like Give me miracles. A, yeah. On such a like, uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. On a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Not balanced, but a very like uh, divert. Like they they answer a lot of questions. Yeah. Like you like you were saying, you want to take a flamer unit and a melta unit so that they can so diverse. slot that diverse. That's the word I'm looking yeah, for. Thank totally. you. I'm having a fucking brain fart. Jesus. Yeah. A yeah. diverse unit that reactive moves is fantastic. Yeah, and yeah. and could. I can control where, hopefully, I can control where their opponent goes. Yeah. Uh, the next unit is Paragon Warsuits. Yeah. Now, I do all um, all blades, it's more attacks. I also do uh, all multi yeah, And I do I grenade launchers. Yeah, Some yeah. people do storm bolters. I prefer grenade launchers because I want to maximize the amount of damage I can do. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, another reason why I made all these changes compared to my last list is I wanted to add more angels. I think they're the best unit that they have. So I have a 10 girl uh, squad of uh, Seraphim, squ or Seraphim squad that has all the flamers, mm -hmm. which will be attached to the jump pack Canis because the, the Canis also gives a free strat. And now I have a solo Canis and a jump pack Canis. Sisters have too many good rules. This is insane. No, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 you can Dude, deal with them. Our, and unit, our units do like two things. And, and he's like, yeah, these guys yeah, do like yeah. seven things. Uh, this Seraphim squad, uh, as all Seraphim <laughs> do, they shoot and scoot. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the main combo with them is being by a triumph. Yeah. Yeah, they move 14 inches. You can use a uh, six for an advance. A uh, six is miracle, so that's actually a seven inch advance. So it's 21 inches, and then you can shoot something and then move 20 uh, another six. So oh, you're moving 27 inches. Welcome, that's, to, that's welcome, cool, welcome, man. welcome to Angel Jail. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I have in fact played a okay amount of sisters yeah. in the last month. Oh, so much. I have yet to lose to them. Oh, good. I yeah, have yet spicy. to lose to them. Right. About over three games. Sweet. But um, <laughs> yeah. I beat uh, a chaos demon. Now it is curly. Uh, but uh, hey, sorry, man. Uh, I'm gonna say this story. You love curly. We do. I beat him with 1,500 points. He had 2,000. Oh, that's really awesome. That's super actually, awful. I forgot to add my two extra sisters. That <laughs> which would kill the demons. <laughs> You forgot the one thing that is the problem. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and then I have another five uh, Seraphim squad. Uh, more of a, you know, scoring yep. up, uh, okay, sabotaging okay. other people's shit, yeah, yeah. just being a nuisance. And then I'm going to round off the list with, I think, the the best, one of the best things that can happen. Um, and I don't know why more people aren't running it. Caldus. 
I think Caladus is such a unique piece yeah, yeah. because now I don't need to deep strike everything and I can just go up and down and score those extra points. But in those uh, alpha strike matchups, she's key. Be putting her like really, really close stops them from getting the plus one of wound for world leaders, stops uh, the plus one of wound against a cursed cultist, like stops a lot of yeah. shenanigans that I still want to deal with. Like, yep. so, same going against demons, they want to do like, oh, rerolling involves, well, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you more, right? Like, I can just do things like that that can actually affect the game or at least affect where you want to land your uh, your guys, and now I can control the board state more, mm -hmm. and that's what Caladus can do. And I, that's why I really like her in, uh, in just in this list in general. And now if I'm going against like shooty list, well then you better be screening me. Yeah. Because I'm just gonna go behind you and I'm gonna yeah. shoot your little nonsense. Interesting. Yep. No, Calidus, Calidus is fantastic. I yeah. think I think Calidus, Speaking of like upcoming points changes, she's probably gonna see an increase. I was shocked when we saw the Imperial <laughs> Agents Codex that she didn't see an increase. Like, she the Vindicare went up like. 70 points or something like ridiculous, like 65 points, and she saw no points change. That's wild. Vindicar is probably like probably the best though. No, Calidus is for sure the best. <laughs> I think that they each have their own place with their own roles. Listen here, yeah. Mr. Politician. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit out of here. <laughs> this is dog, the, the, the model is either dog shit or it's the best thing that ever got written. Okay, obviously. do you want me to you want me to weigh in on that? I think Calidus is better. You think the Caladus is dog shit? No, I think she's the better best. of the two. Oh, yeah, Caladus is by far yeah. the best assassin. I, I would say okay, so. well, but the Vindicar can completely annihilate a matchup. No, what? Is it anti psycho one? No, that's the that's, uh, Calexus. Oh. Vindicar is the sniper rifle, dude. Okay, you heard it on there. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> so I'm yeah, wrong. So Calexus right. is cool now after the change to Imperial Agents because he has like a three inch deep strike and like does some anti psycho yeah, stuff yeah. Like, he does he a is, lot he is kind of cool like, he does a lot like, eversor is probably better than him and calidus is better than him but vindicare is it a viscer viscer sore or viscer ever sore e v e -R he's ever sore -E like it is like ooh, ouch, ooh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> all right all well right. Uh, hey where guys are we off, where are we off the yeah, yeah. path here it's, well, it's time to wrap this madness yeah, up let's wrap, <laughs> let's wrap it up here uh what do you guys think of our list this is what we're submitting for uh the bloodbath uh the bloodbath the bowl cup Bloodbath Cup. The trophies say Bloodbath Cup. So yeah, the Bloodbath Cup. That's what it is. Uh, where <laughs> it's our in-house uh, tournament, and we these are our lists. We just submitted them now. I did. Uh, sure. This podcast will probably come out Monday, uh, depending, and we'll see what everyone else yeah, thinks. This is a very serious tournament. We don't want to like people to custom. It's build serious into us. because you made cups. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you made it serious. Yeah, they are dope. Yeah, they are dope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, wa hey Ben, uh, why don't you take it away? Well, folks, uh, we've had, obviously, incredible support for... First of all, Jake, thank you for joining us of on course, the podcast. Yeah. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure. We could talk for another hour, but I think we're probably about that time. So uh, thank you for giving us a lot of good insight on an army that doesn't get enough highlight, I think. It's really cool. Um, to all of our fans out there, thank you so much for the support we've gotten for the battle reports. We've been trying different like formats and different things like that. Um, the only reason we can do that is because you guys have shown us that much love, right? We did hit our beautiful 500 subscriber goal. We are uh, going to show you guys some love from that, from the giveaway and all that good stuff in the very near future. Uh, never forget, as always, to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Bloodbath Tactics.